Ooh, what is up my good people? The name is Pixel Love and we are back again with another episode of Mother 3. In the last episode, as you can see, we ended off chapter 7. We ended off chapter 7 by having an epic showdown against me and the Masked Man. We finally were able to pull the needle from that was protected by Ionia. And apparently everyone in Tasmali is heading towards a new pork city. So... I have no idea what's to come, but I'm just going to change the text speed right here and there so people people will remember. And at least for, for I... Ugh! And at least for me to remember to change the text speed because sometimes it can get pretty darn slow. Alright, let us continue. Now, I remember there's some jazz going on. Over here. What is this? Oh, I see that little swine symbol. Goddamn porkers. What do you have to do here, bucko? Master Lucas, yes. Our great leader and new king of the entire world, Master Porky. Orderly invites you to the greatest city in the world, New Brook City. Master Porky sounds awfully similar to Pokey, but okay. I will take you there in this stretch limousine, so please step inside. Sure, I guess. Master of the new world? Of this new world? I'm going to assume that he may be like... Yeah, let's just bring him... Let's just bring him around over here so we can fucking kill him. Of course, I have to walk all the way around. Grumble, grumble. Chauffeur, my good man! Thank you very much! I mean, after all, this is your job, is it not? You wanted to be the chauffeur, not me. Or, I don't know, I guess your leader made you? Well, well what kind of leader are we talking about? We're we talking about like some sort of dictatorship or some shit like that? Alright, let's get this rolling! Wait a minute, how the hell were you able to get here to begin with? Flying cars, you know, that explains it. That explains it. Otherwise, I would just be like, how the hell did you ride all the way down down to Argilla Pass? Argilla. I, I kept saying Agrilla. Argilla. What do you think? It's much more spacious than it appears on the outside. Wouldn't you agree? We'll arrive at New Park City shortly, so please relax and enjoy yourselves for a while. Uh, sure, I guess? I also just realized, I never actually got like, where it says, Chapter 8, something something something. A stage, it looks like you could sing a song from it, but you can't even get on it. That's tough. Goddamn happy box. Grown up drinks are lined up here. It's spicy, bitter, yucky poison, so kids can't drink it. Oh wait, grown ups can't drink it either. Alcohol, people! Alcohol! Uh, tabletop game, it looks like you can play it, but you can't. Bro, this sucks. A nine foot billiard table. Pockets have been designed to be quite large. It looks like he- Bro, let me play it! At least let me play pool! I've actually been playing pool, you know, back in my university and whatnot. Yeah, I'm not the greatest, but... Fuck it, you know, I'm trying. Ah, uh, hot springs. I don't even know it. How, how is this even considered a hot springs? It's just a bath. Thank you very much, though. God, this really is pretty spacious. What about this? A blackjack table. It's not playable black- Bro, nothing is playable here. What the fuck? God damn it, what am I supposed to do here? Am I just supposed to lounge around on the sofa? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Huh, buddy? Big fluffy sofa. Fine, I'll relax. Now what? Now what do we do? What are you guys doing? What the hell are you four doing? Uh, I I I honestly have no clue what 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 they're doing. Am I supposed to press A or something? What if I press A right now? Nothing. Nothing happened. What if I pressed 
I don't know the fucking buttons on the Xbox One controller. What if I press X? Nothing. What if I press Y? Nothing. What if I press B? Nothing. R? No. L? No. Left trigger? Right trigger? No. Oh, there we go. There we go. What? I was jamming along, jamming along the fucking left analog stick. What is this feeling? Yeah, what the? What the hell were you guys doing? I'm confused. I am very much confused as to what the hell happened. All right, buddy, hurry the fuck up. Yes, there it is. Say hello to New Pork City. All right, the big city, you say? This looks like one big giant skyscraper with a bunch of spikes. Okay. Still not that impressive. I've seen better. God, you make this look like the fucking... You honestly make this look like it's fucking Midgard. Like, from Final Fantasy VII. Like, your goddamn Shinra Energy Corp. What? It, can I just see the bigger picture here? Can I just see all of Newport? Instead of just itty bitty little tippets of it. Oh, there, there we go. Chapter 8. All things. All things considered. What the hell does the city look like? Goddamn porkers. Even the point of having wheels if you're not even going to use them. Okay, now what? Damn straight, you walk over here. Damn straight, you open the door. Well, we finally arrived. Please watch your step as you exit the car. You haven't forgotten anything, have you? Uh, no. I'm pretty sure we haven't. Seeing as this is your first time here, I'll give you this map of the city so you don't get lost. Jeez, thanks. Thanks, buddy. Well then, Master Lucas. I'm sure I'll see you again soon. With a different look? What is that supposed to mean? Hey, buddy! What is that supposed to mean? And you forgot to close the door. Why am I closing the door? It's his fucking job. Not mine. Alright, bucko. What do you mean, different look? What the hell are you talking about? How am I eight minutes into this recording and nothing has happened? Okay, so this is New Pork City. Uh, it still looks... I don't know, it doesn't look that impressive. Somewhat looks like it's still in construction. It's on a mountain? Uh... These trumpets, I feel like I've heard them before. Alright, what about, what about you, Mr. Chingu dude? I know, man. I know all about you. You're here to destroy New Pork City, aren't you? What? No. I can't even see the signs here, what the fuck? You're free in the city. Master Porky has given you your freedom. Uh, what is going on here, buddies? Everyone else came to the city, so I couldn't just stay back there all alone. I figured there'd be something here for me if I came. But now, I don't know. I'm not really sure. Do you feel the same way, Lucas? Damn straight, I feel the same way. I don't even know what the fuck's going on. Oh, Lucas! Did you follow me here for some of my slightly unclean and not very tasty cookies? Because I don't make those anymore. Have you forgotten? Uh, I forgot, I forgot quite a bit about you, Mike. Not gonna lie. Thomas, what the fuck are you doing here? I'm totally owning at this game right now, so don't talk to me, gosh! And don't you dare try to ram into me! Thomas, buddy, whatever happened in the bazaar? Didn't you say you were- I am 10 DP per game. I don't have enough DP, cool. Man, this area stinks. No, it's not me, it's this area. Bro, you guys were literally back in Tazmilly. What the fuck happened? Why did you guys leave? Alright, I'll spend ten dollars on your game. What do we have over here? Looks like Pong. Is Lucas good at it? I feel like it's gonna tell me game over and I just lost 10 DP for nothing. This is quite intense. These are some quite intense sound effects that I'm listening to right now. 
Lucas, what the hell is happening here, over here? I better not hear a game over. In one sense, you feel completely satisfied. What do you mean? What does all- What does this mean? What is the subtext behind this? I was always terrible at literature. Walk, stop, sleep, shout. You're free to do it all. I don't know if I'm so free to do it all. Is this a- Are, are, are these- Wait a minute. I think I see what's happening. All of these are just signs. They're not buildings. They're just signs. I mean, I guess except for that game building, but... Bro, like... What is this? This city makes no sense. I don't know if everyone is gathering here in the city or if they're being gathered here instead. But if you're here, Lucas, that means everyone really is here now. Well, yeah. What was I going to do in Tazmeli? Oh, hey there, Lucas. I was just talking about old times with Isaac. He's an important guy nowadays, you know? What, is this Isaac? Fucking hell, Isaac, you moron! Lucas! You're the dear and charming guest that Master Porky is looking for! Oh, it's me, Isaac. I'm a big shot now. Hmm, big shot, you say? Are you just telling me that now it's time for me to be a big shot? Lucas, I didn't know you were anyone special. If you do anything to defy Master Porky, then you and me will be enemies. Uh, who the hell are you? You awfully look like Pokey or Picky, whichever one. What about you? I know you're from sticks, but you should buy. I don't care. Hot dog sushi. A hot dog and sushi chimera. Uh, no thanks. You know, I was actually. Uh, when I was editing the last episode, I didn't realize. Yo, all those grilled chickens that I bought for Lucas, they actually saved me so much. Because, yeah, I never actually mentioned how I actually won the, the battle with the Masked Man and all that. But let's just say I went through my entire grilled chicken inventory. Alright, what do we got over here? According to my research, stink bugs appear possess a terrific capacity for memorization. I love to study them to find out even more, but they're just so stinky. I mean, they are stink bugs, you know. Actually, who are you? First of all. Apparently, there's some kind of stinky, smelly bug in the theater. Maybe I should just blow this popsicle stand. Hello. Can I help you find something? What do you have? I mean, I guess I'll take the red hat and the angel ribbon. Yo! Look at that red hat! It looks like Ness! <laughs> yeah, I guess I'll take the hat then. I'll take the hat for both Lucas and Boney. But just give me a minute. There's no admission fee at this theater. We're showing a wonderful adventure movie personally selected by Master Porky himself. But apparently a stink bug has snuck inside and stunk up the place. I hate having to kill those things. Yuck! Hello, ladies. Oh, Lucas! Are you looking for something? Whenever you're not really sure what to do, the theater's the best place to go. Yep. Oh, you're here too, Lucas? I guess everyone from Tasmalee is here now. Everyone! Well, yeah, you guys just... Li literally, you all of you guys literally just up and up, just up and abandoned your fucking hometown, your home village, and whatnot. Like, how could you do that? Come on now, not one person stayed behind. I'm, or at least I'm pretty sure. I'm almost pretty sure that uh, what's his face, Major Push has already left. Oh fuck! I have to sell the awesome crown. God damn it! Ah, fuck it. It's for the defense. Oh shit, that's right. I need to get the Angel Ribbon for Kumatora. God damn it. Wait a minute, did I not have the money to do, to do it? Yeah, I'm blind. It's right here. I got more than enough money. Damn straight. I know I should be looking at what the what these other items can do. Like the last item for Kumatora said, you will not sleep. There we go. Not forget. God damn it. And then for Lucas, I'm pretty sure the Awesome Crown gave him more PSI power. Yeah, it did. God damn it. There goes a lot of PSI power. Damn, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Alright, where's the stink bug? Stink bugs stink up the place wherever they go. You know, like these seats. Some of them smell bad. Remember, has it whenever you guys do something? Earthquakes and tremors and stuff happen. 
What in the world do you guys do? Well, what do you mean? Your guys' leader is locked up in an apartment building underground. You don't know nothing about no leader? But your leader wants to see you. Here I am putting myself at risk to tell you this and honestly don't know the guy? No, I don't I, I don't know the guy. In that case, maybe you're supposed to meet him without knowing who he is. Anyway, that's all I could tell you. I have to go to the sewer first, as the name suggests the place is empty. Breeding grounds, blah blah blah. Smell nasty. God damn it. I guess this is what happens when I do fast text because they just they just blow through everything. Whoa! Yo! Is that Earthbound for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System? A stink bug? Yeah, I saw one earlier. Where could it have gone? Some people say that if you take a big whiff of the stink bug smell, your memory will improve. That's true. I'd sniff one without a second thought. Gross. Wow, that hole in the speaker leads directly to the sewer system. Absolutely unbelievable. So that's why the cedar stinks too high. It even looks like stink bugs either come and go as they please. Hmm. Alright. Hey you! What? The only ones allowed to run inside the theater are the stars on the screen. Man! Fuck off! Look at that! Oh! Bullshit! You can't even see me from here! That's BS. Okay, so I'm going to assume that I'm going to have to go back to that theater. And a bit of me is kind of now thinking maybe the leader that they're talking about is Ness. I have a faint feeling that they're talking about Ness. Welcome. I heard from Master Porky that you would be coming here. He says you're quite strong in one way or another. You can go anywhere you want aside from the 100th floor on the Empire Porky building. But go have a look around at everything. You're damn right I will. Apparently all the waitresses in the restaurant over there are robots built to look like the mother of some really important person. It's the big city life, or is it? It somehow doesn't feel like, seem like it. No, it doesn't because everything is so fucking random here. What the hell? This array of artisticness I see before me. The lioness gushing forth it. The maskness. The arachnidness. God damn you people just this this is the problem of this is the problem of why you guys had to leave the city like you guys no 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 this no not the city this is the problem why you guys should have not left the village you need to touch some grass my lord all right what are you about to sell i did not read a single thing that he said it may be time but we're still living beings we either uh, i was just trying to help business i feel time for a almost see are you in quick news yes Asking if you will important with us to get rich and twinkle. Okay, so this small cricket just isn't gonna sell me anything. Cool. Cool. Fucking love that. Bronson, what do you have to do over here? This town's filling up with more and more people, but this shop's still as empty as ever. Uh you said there these were all robots, right? And they're made to look like somebody important. Ooh! Omelette bowl, omelette curry, omelette fried rice, egg soup, omelette soup, miss salad with omelette toppings. What's with all the omelettes? What the fuck? Build yourself up with your favorite food and nothing else. That's the restaurant's rule. What are you not gonna sell me anything? Oh, here's a problem. This is too expensive. Like two thousand for one thing? God, I don't know about that. I might have to pass up on that offer, honestly. Oh! It's, it's these amigos! Yo, it's Thomas Jefferson! I remember you! Pincho, Pancho, and <laughs> Thomas Jefferson. The broken slot machine, but the Sanchez brothers and their friends are a very cheerful trio. I don't have one, DP. Honestly, as much as I want to talk with some... Hmm... I'm starting to have a feeling as to who this could be now. Anyways, what I was going to say is, as much as I want to keep talking with the people and show you in the recordings and whatnot, like, all these people just pretty much say the exact same thing. They just eat glue, you know? But looking at that, I'm pretty sure I have a good idea as to who this Master Porky is now. 
The city has a real kitty vibe to it. Okay, I managed to find a vending machine over here where I can buy some stuff. Where maybe I can finally gather my thoughts all together and try to make something cohesive. And I bought that for Lucas. Fuck! Man, look how much money I have left! This is barely anything! I mean, yes, I have really good equipment now, but still, I'm poor as fuck! Uh, <laughs> the smartest, bravest, and toughest chubster of all time. Here stands the statue of our great leader, Master Porky. Apparently this is a statue of Master Porky isn't just something to look at in Marvel. More specifically, it's supposedly the divine protector of the city. I actually hear some moron somewhere picked a fight with it and wound up in a world of hurt. Okay, so. Even before, even before I realized that this asshole Pokey has been behind everything. Just think about it for one minute. Not only does the city have a very much kid-like vibe with so much amusement parks, fun, and food everywhere. Not only does the restaurant over there mimic what his mother looks like, the quote-unquote important person, that somebody also needs to realize the story of Ness and his friends. Why else would it be shown at the theater? Why else would the Sanchez brothers be here? Why else would Dr. Andonuts be at Chimera Lab when he said he was kidnapped? Why else was there the instant revitalization machines everywhere? Not only do we know that Pokey stole the helicopter from Monotoli, he was also, he had to have been the one who took the phase distorter, the prototype, because how else would he have gotten to the past to try to stop Ness and everyone else? I mean, like, Porky, Pokey, I guess you can kind of make sense, but you're kidding me, this dipshit has been fucking with me this whole time? Oh, buddy, you really are going to be in a world of hurt. What's up, pig mask? I saw dangerous things you want. What kind of dangerous things? God damn, I kind of wish I had some super bombs, but you know what? I, I don't have the money, sorry! Sorry, buddy. Here's the thing that I don't understand. Does this mean that he went to the past? Does this mean that Pokey went to the past? Are we in the past or something? Or are we in the future? Because didn't that motherfucker said he was going back to the past for something? After I fought Gygus. This is the Empire Porky building headquarters for the Porky Corporation. Don't you dare touch it with your filthy, sticky fingers, if you'd be so kind. Uh, so you're the ones who... <laughs> no, 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 it's nothing at all. Never mind me. You said I had to go all the way to the 100th floor, you said? You better not tell me that you have better things for me to buy. Okay, you don't. I'll say I should buy a lot more grilled chickens. Honestly, I should just get more money. That's it. That's just as simple as that. I should... Service repairs in progress. Cool. I guess I can't go to the 100th floor to beat the absolute living shit out of that stupid little kid. Well, I guess there's no point in me, once again, dilly-dallying around. I guess I just have to go through here. You said there's a big hole in here. It would be a bit difficult for people to fit through this. What do you mean a bit difficult for me to go through it? Yes, let me go through. Buddy! Oh my god, how am I supposed to do this? Man, shut the fuck up, woman. Go watch the movie, alright? I don't care what you do with your life. Just leave me the fuck alone. What's over here? At first glance, the projectionist appears to be an old man. But he's actually a figure made out of clay and dough. It's well crafted. Cool. Uh, it's just another figure made out of clay and dough. Cool. Alright. Please don't come in here through the employee entrance. Why not? Are you the type of person that always has to sneak behind everything? You're damn right I do. 
And the question is, you said there's a stink bug, but where the hell is the stink bug? I need to get through the sewers, por favor. And I don't know where this goddamn stink bug is. This area stinks. Alright, he must be close nearby, right? Area doesn't stink too much. Area stinks. My brother in Christ, where is he? Doesn't stink at all. Where is it? Where is it? Let me go through, buddy! This area really stinks! Come on now, stink bug. Yeah, 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 over here, over here. There you are! Come on, buddy. Help, help me out over here. Help me out over here. Or not. Just break it open, boy! Oh, there goes Bonnie. Uh, what do I do now? Do I just go through? What do you mean no problem? Okay, let me go. Let me go through. Oh, my buddy, my brother in Christ! Come on now. Where the hell am I supposed to go? I literally have no idea where Pork. Oh, uh, not Porky. Bony is. You, Bucko. I've been hearing a dog whimpering for a while. I think it's somewhere right below us. I can't go check it out right now, though. The reason being that I'm afraid of dogs. Fuck off! Seriously, their noses are wet and they wag their tails and they lick people's faces. My brother in Christ, have you ever had a cat that pretty much sounds like this exact same thing? So could you go look for the dog instead? Really? Yes, where is it? I'll open this heavy cover, putting myself at major risk though. Don't care, just... There we go, sewer entrance, sewer entrance, come on now. Was here this whole fucking time? But buddy, come on now. Oh lord. That looks awful. That looks almost as bad as the uh whatchamacallit. It looks almost as bad as the radiation Halloween hack. That's Bony barking. He must be nearby. Yeah, no kidding, Kumatora. Thank you for telling the obvious. Right then. That mmm. Metal attack roach and his cohort blocks his way. I'm going to assume that these guys are going to pack a punch, aren't they? Alright, Lucas may have taken a little bit of a beating, but you know what? It could have been worse. It could have been a lot worse. Now, where is Boney? And there are trash people over here. A putrid moldy man. Gross. Not these guys again. The worst part about it is that I don't know what these guys are bad against because Boney's not here to sniff at them. Although I'm pretty sure that would just be cruel of me to make him sniff at them. Hmm. Trash can number one, number two, or number three. We'll go with number one. Ta-da! Magic pudding. I'll take it. Ta-da! Saltwater gun. I'll take it. And it's an enemy. I pushed my luck too hard. Alright, Mole Cricket, what do you have around here? I'm pretty sure that door in front of me is probably going to tell me that there's a frog inside, but I just want to know, what do you have over here? Double jerky at an affordable price! Not bad! Might pick some of them, might pick some of that up with the money that I have left over. Alright, you know what? Let's see what this PK Star Storm does. Wow, that's huge damage! God damn, maybe I don't need to use PK Love these days. Now, on the other hand, it did cost 48 PSI points just to use Star Storm, so I'm not sold on it just yet. PK Thunder Delta, I'll take that. This narrow dark hole appears to lead in a movie theater. Sure, let me go through it. Oh, and of course, I can't go through it. God damn. Damn it. Uh, I don't know if it's better for me just to stay up here so I can get rid of Lucas's fever and whatnot. Or go down there and start fighting everyone. But uh, I know Boney's to my left. I've been in a room. It's just that I unnecessarily used too much of my PSI. So I had to get back, come back all the way over here to replenish all my PSI power. And would you look at that? Life up Omega. What does that do? It stores approximately 240 HP to all allies. 
That sounds pog. Finally, something that I can finally use on everyone instead of just using one person at a time. Cause that's the worst part about life up in my opinion is that I have to spend so much PSI power just on one individual person. Cause it adds up quite a lot. All right, I managed to make it here with pretty good HP and you know, the PSI power could have been better, but you know what? I'm not gonna complain so much about it. What do we have over here? This looks like abandoned apartments up the wazoo. And is that letter? Pulling this rope would probably be extremely dangerous. What is the letter doing all the way over there? Why, is, or the better question is, why is he all chained up? What the hell did he do? Door won't open, no one inside, figures. I run over here. No one inside, figures. No one inside, figures. All right, Boney should be close by. And look, start to feel feverish again. Door won't open, no one's inside. What about this one? No one's inside. What about this one? No one's inside. All right, hold on, Boney. Let me just get rid of this fever and then I'll go get you real quickly, boy. All right, Seaver went away, learned, counter Omega, finally something useful. All right, woof. I chased after a strange smelling bug and somehow wound up here. Eh, don't worry, you're back here with us, boy. Good boy. Now, what the hell did you find out over here? But never mind that, look what's in the next room. Yeah, it's a letter. What the hell happened to you, my G? Are you the resistance leader? Yes, it's me, Letter, the bell ringer. It must be a real shock to hear me speaking for once. It wasn't that I couldn't talk all this time. I simply chose not to. As I rang that cross be road bell, deep inside my heart I had decided I would speak to no one. Well, look where, it's, look where that's ended up now. But the secrets I've been guarding are now starting to leak out. Lucas, the time has come to tell you everything. What I'm about to tell you, you might not want to know. Even so, you must absolutely hear it. It will be a long story, but please listen to it all. Sure, I will. Given who you are and how you've lived, what I have to say will tear at your hearts. And there's just so much to tell. So I've decided to have the stink bug trembling behind me memorize everything I say. Ready, Mr. Stink Bug? Alright, Mr. Stink Bug, lay it on me. What's going on over here? Long ago, there existed a world. A world different from what the people on these islands think of. This world was incredibly big. More people lived on this world than there are grains of sand on these nowhere islands. I know it may be hard to imagine, but such a world once existed. Understand? Yes, I do. At some point, the world wound up destroyed. Naturally, it was humans who destroyed it. In the back of their minds, everyone had an inkling that it would happen at some point. And then it really did happen, and so the world is no more. Everything so far has been about the end of the world. Did you understand all of it? So you're telling me that there is a world that once existed over here that already ended and we're just living in its ashes? Just before the end of the world, a white ship came to these islands. On it were all the people of Tasmeli Village. Yes, aboard the white ship were those few who had managed to escape the world. The people on the ship still went by their names from the previous world. The white ship plan had been set in place before the world was destroyed. And although they are part of the world, these nowhere islands are a special place. They were the one place that would remain even if the world was lost. The one and only place where people could survive. And so the white ship arrived at these islands. 
Everything so far has been about the white ship. Do you understand all of it? So, never mind the last question. Apparently, we the world has already ended from what you from what you've been telling me. And so these nowhere islands are the last part about this world. So where does Newport City lie? Does it lie somewhere in these islands? Does it lie in the north of the islands? Because Ionia did say it was somewhere in the north. Or somewhere in that direction, I imagine. I do understand. Have you committed everything so far to memory, Mr. Stinkbug? The reason these islands are special is because they harbor a giant dragon nearly as large as the islands themselves. Long, long ago, people lived together with the dragon. However, at some point in time, the people and the dragon could no longer coexist. So using the seven needles, the dragon was placed into a long, long sleep by the ancestors of the Majipsi people who have lived here since ancient times. Ever since, the Majipsis have guarded the needles in an effort to prevent the dragon from being woken until its power is truly needed. Thus, until the time of its awakening, the dragon continued to sleep as the power of the earth itself. And so, because of the tremendous energy of the dragon hidden deep below, these islands were protected from the end of the world. Everything so far has been about the dragon and the gypsies. Did you understand all of it? Yeah, this is something that I, the Majipsis had already told me, so I already have a good understanding of it. Those who came here aboard the white ship feared another end of the world more than anything else. They felt that the world's destruction was a direct result of the way they had lived. The people of the white ship discussed things at great length. They shared their wisdom and spoke with grave seriousness. And then they arrived at their conclusion. They decided to completely erase everyone's memories of the previous world and start their lives over with new rules and new roles. Yes, in short, everyone would play out the ideal story that they had come up with. That is what happened. The people would restart their lives in a simple, peaceful village in the kind of place they wished they had grown up in. They would erase their memory of everything, the world, their belongings, their rules. And then they would begin their new lives. Everyone's old memories would be reset and replaced with their newly created stories. And thus the village of Tazmili came to be. However, it was necessary to record the fact that the memory replacement had taken place. The hummingbird egg was a device used to store the memories of the white chip people. Wes and his son Duster, both playing the roles of thieves, were set to take action should a dangerous situation occur. Remember when they went to Osohe Castle? They went there to retrieve the secret of the people of the White Ship. And there's one other thing, me. It was essential that one person retain memory of the previous world to sort of keep watch over things. I was the only one in the village of Tazmeli who wasn't given a role in the new story. The sound of my bell served as a suggestion to keep everyone's fabricated memories from reverting. My name letter comes from the word leader. No, no, that doesn't mean I was anyone special. It was just that I was particularly taller than all the others. Yeah, I could tell. So upon discussion, I was selected because it would be easier for me to stand out. Being so tall, people would want to come to see me, you know? And so I was given the role of revealing these secrets when the time truly called for it. Everything so far has been about those who lost everything. Although Tasmanian Village exists in reality, it was originally created as part of a story. I know this may be difficult to believe, but do you understand so far? I mean, that kind of sucks. I guess it's not so bad as living in a world where someone else controls you, your ideas, your dreams and whatnot, but still, having just to restart your life, not knowing what happened before, a little saddening. Let me also talk about Osohei Castle. Apparently, long ago, a kingdom existed on this island centered around the King of Osohei. However, when we arrived on the White Ship, 
the people of this kingdom were gone. It seems they had left the islands, fearing the dragon's eventual awakening someday. Before boarding the white ship, Princess Kumutora was an infant who had lost her mother and father. Upon coming to these islands, she was given to the Majipsis to raise, and given the role of Princess of Osohe Castle. Wes and Duster, being her retainers, was another part of the fabricated story. Osohe Castle is one of the few and precious relics of this island's past. We crafted our story in haste, so the people inside it have very little past or history. Have you noticed no one in Tasmania can talk about things from 100 or 1000 years ago? In truth, we had wanted to create an entire plethora of myths and legends, but our story was made in such a hurry that we weren't able to. It's a real shame. I'm sure that much of what I'm saying you'd rather not hear, but it's the truth. Have you listened to everything so far? I have. Don't worry, letter. Have you committed everything so far to memory, Mr. Sinkbug? Truthfully, we had no idea how Tasmanly Village would turn out. Things actually went rather well. The people who had arrived on the white ship had fully taken to their new identities. They believed they had always lived together peacefully. It was when a person by the name of Porky stumbled upon these islands that everything started to go amok. It seems he used a time distorted machine to travel through sp time and space at will. I was about to say space and time, time and space, same thing. But here's something that I just realized. When you were saying that this world was destroyed, are you telling me Mother 3 is actually a timeline in which Gygus destroyed the world? In which he actually fully destroyed the world? Because if so, that would make sense as to why Pokey managed to come all the way down over here. By using the time destroyer to go through space and time, possibly going into another timeline, into where, you know, Ness didn't defeat Gygus. However, he was apparently shut out from all other times and spaces. Well, apparently Pokey was not a very good man in the multiverse, but who could, who, I, who could blame the multiverse, you know? He, he's a little dipshit. And tumbled into this era and these islands. Even worse, he used his time distorter to bring many people from other eras here. The pig masks, as well as everyone in New Pork City, were all brought here and brainwashed by Porky. This Porky fellow seems to view these islands as his own personal toy box, with which he can do anything he wants. He would take animals apart and recombine them to make creepy, new chimeras. Yeah, we've already mentioned this before. As a childlike dictator, he began doing whatever he pleased, including building Thunder Tower and forming his own army. Orky eventually learned the white ship's secret because of a traitor among the Majipsies. The traitor among the Majipsies. Someone who not only must have known the secret, decided to work with Porky, knows about Tasmali Village. You're talking about Facade, aren't you? You understand about the intruder known as Porky. So are you telling me... Yes, I, I actually do understand Porky. But this traitor, the only person who comes to mind is Facade. And I... Don't believe I recall ever seeing Locria? Don't tell me that Facade is a Majipsy. I doubt it is. Never mind. This traitor was Locria, the seventh Majipsy, and the only one you haven't met yet. Locria's Facade. Yep. After Locria joined forces with Porky. Porky learned about the white ship people and the secret of the sleeping dragon. Porky decided to pull the needles to wake the dragon so he could use the power for himself. The dragon is the power of the very earth itself, you see. It's said that whoever pulls the ceiling needles will become the dragon's master. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. First of all, I, Lucas, have been pulling all the needles. 
The other person is the Masked Man. And I don't know if you can look at their body types or whatnot, but the Masked Man and Pokey are not very similar. And considering that not only do we actually have a statue of what Pokey looks like in New Park City, but also considering that he's pretty much the same exact person, so I doubt he would have changed at all. How, 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 how does he have this plan? Because if he pulls the needles, he's not going to be the dragon's master. He can't get the dragon's power at all. However, only a very select few are capable of pulling the dragon's needles. Apparently, neither the Majipsis nor Porky have that capability. You see? You see? Yet the needles are being pulled now. That means Porky is somehow controlling someone who can control the dragon's power. We have to put a stop to Porky's antics. If we don't, the world will be completely destroyed again. And it will spell the true end for everything. For Porky, that might be the ultimate pleasure. But we can't allow it to happen. We, the last handful of people there are, absolutely can't allow it to happen. Lucas, it seems you're a chosen one with the ability to pull the needles, sealing the dragon away. You must pull the, dra the dark dragon's needle with your own hands and pass your heart onto the dragon. Let this be my one and only order to you as your leader. You understand everything about the dark about the dragon's awakening. God damn it, how do I always fuck up the dragon, dark dragon, dragon dark? Come on now. I hear that six of the dragon's needles have already been pulled. Yeah, three by me and three by the masked man. Deep in the earth, the dragon's likely beginning to stir from its sleep now. Supposedly the last needle is somewhere here in New Pork City. Porky has been gathering everything that lives on these islands into New Pork City. To prepare for the final needles pulling. It's possible that he's planning to hold one final twisted party, but now is our chance to change this looming crisis into a golden opportunity. All things may come to an end, or new and bountiful things may begin. Wouldn't you like to help that happen? Lucas, you were once a weak, fragile boy, but now you've been given a tremendous role to fulfill. Now that you know everything, including everything I'm sure you'd rather not know, the time has come for you to save the future of all life as we know it. God won't make you bear more than you can carry. I'm sure you've heard that phrase before. Know that you aren't fighting alone. Everyone, and I do mean everyone, will lend you their support. That was a long story. But that is the end of everything I have to tell you. Did you understand it all? Alright, not gonna lie, I kinda wanna be a dick and just say no. Alright, it, 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 it's just the same thing. Yes, I understand the letter, thank you very much. Only the Majipsis really know the Needle's locations, so I don't know where to find them. And from the way Porky and the others have been acting, I would say they're now very close to reaching the seventh needle. Please, Lucas, be the one who pulls the final needle. Porky issues his orders from the hundredth floor of the Empire Porky building. Start by jumping into the fray and storming the building. After that, you can start looking for clues. It's been such a long time since I've spoken to anyone, and now I'm exhausted. The stink bug should remember everything I've just said. Take him with you. That way, if you happen to forget anything I've said here, you can ask him to repeat it. You go with them, Mr. Stinkbug. Great, now I'm gonna stink! Alright, there's the Stinkbug's memory. Alright, as much as I kind of want to use the epic music that's happening right now for my outro, I do not want to get copyright claimed. But anyways, I'm gonna leave it off for here. My throat has kind of been hurting a little bit. My name is Pixel Love. If you liked the video, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Share it with all your friends. Momentum Mori and whatnot. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Let's beat the absolute living shit out of Pokey, everyone. Ooh. Take care, everybody.